We're having an exciting international conference. You know, we really believe that it's so important to share experiences and knowledge together with people from around the world. And we have people here from 22 different countries, from Africa, from Asia, from Europe, you know, the United States and so on. And um, everyone has what to teach and everyone has what to learn. So that's what, what this is all about. You uh, hold this uh, conference once every few years. So how's the world, first of all, evolved in dealing, relating, uh, loving uh, those with disabilities? Well, I think that, you know, there was a milestone um, uh, uh, issue that ha in the United Nations, they passed the UN Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities. And I think that this was a real milestone in the history of disabilities because all the countries together decided that there has to be a minimal net, net that safety net for all people uh, in society. And it got all the countries together to start talking and dialoguing about what what it does it mean to have equal rights and how do, how do we make that happen? And I think that um, a lot of the people involved in that dialogue were people with disabilities themselves. In most of the conventions of the United Nations, it, the, all the experts came and decided on what was good and what wasn't good. Here it was people with disabilities themselves who were part of the dialogue, who, made the con who wrote up the convention and who press, pressed which clauses there should be and which there shouldn't be. And I understand that Israel has a representative there at the United Nations and that representative is you, Beidizi Shapiro. Well, we won. Obviously, we have a wonderful commissioner in the field of disabilities in the Justice Ministry, Achia Kamara, and we as an NGO, NGO got the, uh, the, the, the privilege, I'd say, of being chosen to be a consultant um, at the United Nations. Generally speaking, this field in Israel, what can you tell us about that and how also internationally it's seen throughout the world? How Israel is seen? Well, I think, well, first of all, how I see Israel. Um, I think we've come a long way over the years, but we still have a long way to go. I think there's a lot of prejudice, a lot of stigma. I think there is less than there used to be. There are good laws in place in Israel. I think they're good services, but I still believe that there is a lot of prejudice um, towards people with disabilities. The fact is that most employers will not employ people with disabilities, and there are still neighbors when a person with disabilities moves into a home next to, in a certain community where the neighbors take offense to it. So I think that we really do have a long way to go. How do we compare to other countries? Well, you know, in some ways we're better and in some ways we're worse. It depends what you're talking about. Um, but I do want to say that, you know, when I do go to the United Nations, I see that um, we're very advanced in some way, especially our health system. You know, when I hear people in Africa or I hear people in India, a person with a disability, where there are no toilets in the home, and a person who's in a wheelchair and can't get to the toilet, which is, um, you know, a couple of hundred yards away from their own home and so on. So, you know, I suppose everything's in perspective. I think that we're very advanced to some countries, um, but we're behind in, in other ways. And there's still what to do, still a lot to uh, improve. I, I, I think there's a huge amount to do, and as I say, it's always the bottom line, because poverty is one of the biggest problems for people with disability, and why? Because they're not having opportunities to be in the employment world. So I think in Israel we have a very far way to go.